Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham. And I'm Abby Ragsdale, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, if you completed your application with Pikes Peak on April 6th, remember they will be back on Wednesday, April 26th to help you select classes for the fall semester. Get your hall passes from the Counseling Center to attend any college visits. And while you're there, check out other important college-related information, such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Glads, if you are a senior taking classes by D3 My Way, you must complete all coursework by May 5th. Attention all students, the library needs its books back. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid being put on conditions. The end is near and the last day to check out books is next Thursday. Check your account on Infinite Camp. If you are not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees, seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by Tuesday to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Hey seniors, graduation is about 20 short school days away and the senior class needs your photos for the graduation slideshow. Email them to Benny Trujillo at TrujilloBen2 at WSD3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. Seniors, time is running out for you to buy a yearbook. For a limited time, the yearbook staff has a deal for you. When you buy your senior yearbook for $65, you can get one from a prior year for an additional $10. So if you didn't buy a yearbook your freshman year, now is your chance to get that one, but only while supplies last. It's a cool deal. If you are buying a yearbook for this year, those are still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or the business office to buy yours now before prices go up. Hey Dylan, what's your favorite kind of pie? I'm not a fan of pie unless I can smush it in someone's face. Well, you're in luck. Glads, the Environmental Club is having a pie smushing contest today at lunch in the quad. Come celebrate Earth and help save the trees. You can still buy your chance to smush a pie in Mr. Elhofer, Mr. Cummings, Deputy Stevens, or Mr. Southworth's face for just one dollar. Get your tickets this morning from Mr. Cummings in room 204. Come see who gets the chance to smush a pie in these faces. And speaking of pie, hey Abby, Miss Betsy has a great lunch plan today. Wanna know what it is? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Friday! Today we're having beef fingers with mashed potatoes and gravy. Come on and see us. Have a great day. Good weekend. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your accounts. Students, if you need help with an academic subject, NHS students are offering tutoring during advisory. Stop by the library on Wednesday to sign up for a time and pick up a pass th for Thursday. You'll be able to use the computers at this time too. If you need help, you should really check it out. Now here's Jaden McDonald with our sports update. Hey Glads, it's Friday, and I'm Jaden McDonald with your Gladiator Sports Update. Ladies, the girls' basketball banquet is on Monday, April 24th at 6 at Old Chicago on Academy and Austin Bluff. Also, there will be a meeting on Tuesday, April 25th for returning girls' basketball players in Mr. Washington's room 1.15 after school. Ladies' volleyball open gym times are Wednesday in Bowers Gym from 3 to 5 p.m. All current and interested volleyball players who are not playing a spring sport are invited to join us to bump, set, and spike our way through next year's season. Gentlemen, open gym times for basketball happens on Thursdays from 6 to 8 p.m. in Bowers Gym. If you are interested in playing basketball next year, come refine your skills at the open gym. Here's some scores from games from yesterday. The ladies soccer team put up a good fight against TCA last night but drop and L in the record book. The baseball team also traveled to Canyon City yesterday. The baseball team also lost to the Tigers yesterday. Our varsity track team is at Found for Carson and Fight today and tomorrow. Good luck to all our sports team this week. Finally, Glads, mark your calendars for tomorrow. Yes, it is prom Saturday, but if you're not busy, come cheer on the WSD3 team as they take on the cops in a dodgeball fundraiser for teen suicide prevention. The games will be held at Coronado High School from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Cost is $5 for adults and $3 for students. That is all I have. Have a great week. I'm Jaden McDonald. Back to you, Dylan and Abby. Thanks, Jaden. And now to all prom-related news. Juniors and seniors, prom court votes are in. Here are your prom candidates for queen. J.D. Aquino, Carly Kalanagin, 
Skyler Logan, Kelly Pedrino, and Ashley Silva. Your candidates for King are Steven Agenbrod, George Arseniega, Xavier Ortiz, Benny Trujillo, and Quinn Wilson. Of course you'll have to attend the prom to know who wins the coveted crowns. That's right, Dylan. Blast from the past is tomorrow at the Double Tree Hotel. Dinner starts at 6.30 p.m. and the dance goes to midnight. Have a great time. Be there or be square. Today is blue out day. Hats are not allowed, so please take them off. We are on a p.m. assembly schedule for prom. And finally, Glads, if you are looking for a full-time summer job, the Widefield Facilities Department is hiring students who are 17 or older for their summer cruise. Workers must have a valid driver's license, and you can find the application online at wsd3.org. Applications are due on May 12th. That's all we have for you today. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great weekend. I'm Dylan Hamm. And I'm Abby Ragsdale, and this is your KWHS News. Come in, come in,